Good morning. Welcome back to another color in chat. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> How is everyone doing this morning? We are going to finish what we started, which was we're coloring in the Golden Girls book. <laughs> and I kind of made a... made her look weird so if you don't know I'm coloring in the Golden Girls good morning Tonya are you ready to color with me <laughs> good morning and so this is what the page is looking like so far I've got these girls looking like a punk rock band kind of like <laughs> good morning Jason welcome back you guys welcome back Thank you for coming back and chatting with me. How do I look? Do I look upside down? Do I look normal? <laughs> it's time for your breakfast. Your break your fast. Oh, nice. Do you like my little zipper? <laughs> my jacket broke and my husband put a paper clip for zipper. <laughs> I look cool. Awesome. Thanks. So we're going to get to coloring and chatting and I just ate breakfast. I'm coming on here a little late. I have six in the chat and no thumbs up guys. Y'all hit that thumbs up for me. <laughs> I don't know how to spell your name. So welcome in Q. <clears throat> Everybody be nice to me this morning. About to take my girls to school, but I will be listening on my way. Will you tell your girls good morning for me? And y'all be safe driving off to school. I will be here coloring. <laughs> good morning, Misty. Like the zipper. Very punk rocker style. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Why not, right? <clears throat> you guys be nice. I do have moderators on here who will not put up with any weird behavior. I do not mind, okay? I know there's teenagers and kids who are going to find me. And as long as you behave yourself, you are fine and dandy because I know a lot of you like to color and y'all like to draw and watch people color and that's fine. But I have a lot of protectors on here and they won't put up with any bull crap. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm a very nice, loving person. And um, let's, let's keep it friendly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to color Blanche um, from the Golden Girls. And I made Blanche. Um, she's, her theme is blue. And so she's got that blue punk hair going on. And so um, her outfit's going to be, all right, Jason, her outfit's going to be blue too. We're going to do maybe like, um, what do you think? Like blue and silver? <laughs> if I can find a silver or gray. Uh, I think this is silver. So we'll throw some of that in there to make her outfit come out. Thank you guys for joining me again this morning for another five hour color and chat. I'm weird though. Laugh out loud. I saw you. Oh, on my flocks premiere. Yes. I know who my flocks is. Well, welcome in. I'm glad that you're here. So every morning, um, I'll be here coloring and chatting with everybody. And I'm glad that we got some newcomers in here. Welcome in. I know exactly who you're talking about. He's hilarious. Um, 
But yes, I know exactly who you're talking about. Welcome in. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know who you are. I've seen you in here before, but I didn't know you were from my flock. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks again for coming in and hanging out with me. Um, do you like to color? I'm going to... Okay, is, is fur okay to call you or can I call you F or do you want to be called 147? I know some people when they come on here, they're like, you can call me this. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll try to remember everybody who's coming in here and what y'all want to be called. <laughs> I don't have that great of a memory, but I try to remember. So you just let me know what you want to be called. Because <laughs> I know everyone's different. So... <clears throat> yep thank you unfortunately not anymore it's been a while fur is fine <laughs> all right fur it is all right thank you so what's been happening with you guys anything new since um our last color and chat which was yesterday <laughs> Anything exciting? Oh my God, see? Live TV, my pencil broke. My pencils <laughs> have not been cooperating with me. And I promise you, I am not pushing down that hard. And I'm sorry about the sharpener, the pencil sharpener. But it happens, you know? I am going to get another sharpener this weekend. I think, I don't know. I need to get one that's good enough for my pencils. <laughs> Crazy sharpener. Crazy things happen on here. Oh, you know what I found? I did go to Five Below yesterday because I got three t-shirts. Um, I found, which I'm going to try them today for you guys. Where did I put them? I'm going to have to hold on one second. One second. <clears throat> And you guys tell me if you have ever seen these before, but late, not right now. It's too early in the morning, <laughs> but in a little bit, I'm going to try these for you. And these are pickled jelly beans. Like what? I have not seen these. These are like, guys, I love pickle stuff, like pickle flavor. And hello, Sarah, how are you? Good morning. And I saw these and I was like, okay, I've got to try these, but I haven't opened them yet because I was going to do it on here. So these will be tried later. Um, you guys let me know if you've seen these or heard of them. Now, I'm not one for, I'm not like a jelly bean. I don't like jelly beans, but um, good morning, Edna. How are you? So... I mean, but, so I'm not one for jelly beans, but I saw those pickled jelly beans and I was like, okay, we have got to try that because I'm like, I like to try anything that's weird and new out there. Not my husband. He's like, uh-uh. He's like, I ain't trying any of that. He's like, that is all you. He sticks to like the very basic fruity jelly beans and stuff. And I'm like, nope, we got to try that weird stuff. <laughs> But you guys let me know if you've had the pickled jelly beans. And they look like this. I'm going to show one more time because we've got new people coming in. They look like this. Pickled jelly beans. Like, what? And I got these from Five Below, and it was the last one. So I'm assuming there's out people out there who are trying them. So we will see later on. It's too early right now. Maybe in an hour or so, we will try those. And see what it's all about. <clears throat> so that's something new that happened for me. I swear every time we go to Five Below, I try not to spend that much money and I know what I'm going in for. I'm like, because I like to go look at their t-shirts. Um, but I would have left them on the shelf. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome in, Scotty. <laughs> Jelly beans, good, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you would have left them on the shelf, too. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> but, um, where was I going? I know I lost track. <laughs> But, oh, yeah, so every time I go to Five Below, I know what I'm going in for. I just wanted, I like to look at their T-shirts because they have some really, you know, cool T-shirts and stuff. And welcome in, Jeffrey. And um, we always end up buying a bunch of junk every time we go in there because they have, like, snacks and different, you know, different stuff. And, like, my husband went and he got him, like, the um, the SpongeBob, what is it called, the Krabby Patty um like jelly burger thing and then he got the big coca-cola gummy thing and it's just fun to like try different things but we always i always go in and always end up buying junk i like their art section too um and i was trying to look for more coloring books but they only had um they only had two different variety of the book and I already have one of them and I didn't want the other one so I was like well maybe I'll you know go to Walmart or something and get something fun I was talking to Rook on her live yesterday and um and we were talking about like my little pony and Care Bears and um strawberry shortcake and like all the old school stuff that we used to grow up on and so I'm going to look for, hey, Funky Uncle, how are you? Good morning. So I want to look for, like, fun, like those. I mean, I love the adult coloring books, but, like, I want an Alice in Wonderland one and try to look for all different ones. So we were talking about, I mean, I had fun talking with Rook. If y'all don't know Rook of all, she's she does lives and she um real fun to chat with. I think all of you guys are great, but I have fun on y'all's lives. Some of y'all talk to me like, I mean, have good conversations. And then sometimes, you know, it's just a silent live and no one's talking. And that's okay, too. I like to watch what everyone's doing. So, so Dorothy has gold shoes. And we're going to give Blanche some silver shoes. To go with her outfit. These girls are style in here. I'm not a good makeup artist, so I kind of made Dorothy look <laughs> look like the Joker. For all for you guys who haven't seen this page yet, do you see how these girls are coming out? And see Dorothy? Yeah, I kind of made her look like the Joker. Um, I'm doing good. Hope you are the same. I'm hungry. You're fasting today. Nice. I'm just glad it's my Friday. Oh, good, Jeffrey. That means no work. <laughs> yes, dear. Thank you. I like to color and be creative when I'm coloring, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't always come out the way I want, and it comes out different, and I'm like, oh, okay, we'll just go with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I haven't fasted. I mean, I do fast. But, um, not like I plan on fasting, but, um, I just eat when I'm hungry and I don't eat. And sometimes I'll eat like at, let's say three will be my last meal in the afternoon. And then I won't eat again until like later on, but I woke up hungry this morning. So I went ahead and had me a small breakfast and just to hold me over until I get off of here. <laughs> so how's your little chihuahua doing, Jeffrey? <laughs> Well, just, I just plan on skipping. Oh, okay. Well, then I hope you end up having a big lunch. Because <laughs> I'm sure that you will be hungry by then. I kind of want to give Blanche um, some blue lips. <laughs> We're going to give her blue lips. Oh, yep. Let's do that. Let's give her blue lips. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yes, you guys hit that like button. If you're not connected with me already please connect with me i will get back with you i know i can't get to everybody but oh yeah look at her lips <laughs> i'm just having fun with this oh my goodness this is hilarious i get to get um taste and shot in my shoulder oh my goodness scotty that's right that's right oh i am praying for you i know that it does not 
feel good. I don't, I mean, no, thank you. More power to you. I mean, not more power to you, but my goodness, Scotty, you've been through so much already. Everyone's going through so much. I think Blanche is going to be Dorothy's twin here. I don't know what I'm doing with these ladies. They are coming out funky, I'm telling you. But plans change sometimes. Yes, they do. The new spicy nuggets from McDonald's is the plan. Well, there you go. I've never eaten from McDonald's. But I do go to my local store, like H-E-B and stuff. And once in a while, I like to get like spicy chicken and... Uh, make a sandwich with it or eat it on the side with some broccoli or green beans or a salad. Um, Y'all guys have to remember, I make everything. Oh, I forgot to color her other shoe. I, my goodness. But yeah, so that sounds like a plan though, Funky Uncle. I know when I hear people are like, oh man, this is so good. You know what? I, I don't know. I don't know if I ever will, but I'm just going to have to... I'm already 40-something years old, and I'm just going to have to start trying new things. Maybe one day I'll be like, I'm trying this for the first time, <laughs> and do like a video on it. What do y'all think of that? <laughs> I've just not been one to like eat out. I always eat everything at home. Yeah, maybe I can encourage you to eat more at home. <laughs> you know, it'd be cheaper if you just went to Walmart or your local store, got a bag of spicy chicken, put it in the oven, and uh, made a side like mac and cheese or mashed potatoes and threw on some green beans and it's cheaper, right? And then you'd have a full meal and you'd have more chicken versus just what they give you. Because I don't know, from what I've heard, eating out is really expensive. Um, hello, Anne. Welcome in. How are you? I'm over here making these ladies look like, uh, I don't know what they're looking like. <laughs> Jokers and clowns and don't get me wrong, guys. I love the Golden Girls, but this ain't coming. This is coming out kind of <laughs> funky. <laughs> welcome in and welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. And then we're going to color the mom purple. Her, She's got purple hair, so... Can you give Blanche the Riddler or Penguin look? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my God. Well, I already started coloring Blanche. She's almost done. But check her out. Like, seriously. Like, look at this. Look at these ladies here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How funny. They're looking funny. But we can give the mom a black and white suit. She's got purple hair and we can like, what did the penguin look like? He was black and white and yellow, right? Kind of looking like Batman. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on here, what this is turning out to be. <laughs> Let's see, where is my black matte pencil? I think I used it the other day. I have cooked stuff myself, but cooking videos are way too long. That's why you prep everything, get it done, and then you just show what's on the stove already made. <laughs> Welcome in, Mark. He's just putting up a video about shopping trip today. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Good morning, Mark. Welcome in. The chicks, he stopped. Oh, no. Oh, Anne. That's not good. Maybe you can order one off Amazon. If you can't find one in town, sometimes you can order one off Amazon. Because right now, right now being like spring and into some, well, spring, there's a lot of people who are um, getting chicks and stuff and buying up those heat lamps. Where is my black matte pencil? You guys tell me what color the, the, I mean, I know what color penguins are. They're black and white, but did he have yellow or anything in him? Some yellow. Let's see. Um, where's my black? Let's see. Uh, 
Yellow beak. <laughs> well, then I'll give her a yellow nose. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too funny. Um, let's see. Guys, I cannot find my black pencil. I thought I used it yesterday, but maybe not. Did I throw it back in here? I have so many pencils. Let's see. Let's see here. Too many pencils. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I found it. I think I found it. It was on the side. All right. So we will give Sophia, which is the mother's name, we will give her a yellow nose. You guys know I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Just being silly and fun in my coloring books. And then we will color her suit black and leave the ruffles white. We can leave her pocket white or maybe color it gray. I don't know. Was there any gray? She's got some little buttons here that can go yellow. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to play around and be silly. Life's too short not to be silly, right? Can't take anything so seriously. Got to have fun with it. All right, we're going to make her suit black. We'll highlight it really dark and then we'll... We'll see what's going on here with these ladies. Oh, no, you're not ranting, Ann. You're not ranting at all. Oh, and YouTube took... Oh, no, Ann. You know what? I've had done... I have had that done before, Ann, where I will show a lot... You know, I would get, like, so many new subscribers, and then all of a sudden, um, they get taken away. So, it happens. Just don't get discouraged. Um... You guys stay connected. Keep watching each other's videos. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to hit that bell. Um, that way it shows, you know, if it's showing like that, the YouTube, it'll put it out in the algorithm and it'll, it'll help out everybody. So you guys keep staying connected. I tried to get to as many people yesterday, so... Yeah, it, it's happened to me plenty of times. Sometimes I feel like, man, I am never going to get <laughs> monetized. <laughs> but, you know, it's a slow process and it's okay. As long as you're having fun along the way, you know. I think her suit needs to be darker. Let's see. We need to make her suit darker because the penguin... It's coming out looking like a, yeah, we're going to have to go darker on this and not so light. So let me press down a little bit, put some pressure on these pencils, and darken up her suit. Um, oh no, sorry, yeah. yeah, we made a temporary plan now and ordered online. Oh good, good, yeah. Yeah, a lot of times when you can't find something in the stores, it's better just to order online. And sometimes they'll get to you in a couple of days. So um, in the meantime, I'm trying to think what you can do to keep those baby chicks warm. A lot of times they'll just huddle together and they'll keep each other warm. So as long as they have plenty of bedding... You can also put like um, a little container or something in there that they can, uh, like with some hay or something and they can all go in there and they'll huddle together and keep each other warm until then. So I think they'll be all right.
Yeah, that'll work fine. Her hands have to be flippers. <laughs> um, I can actually round her her fingers to look like flippers, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Corner. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, you're going to get a haircut tomorrow, Jeffrey. I'm never going to get a haircut. <laughs> I'm going to let my hair grow to the floor. <laughs> I don't... Go, I've... I've only gone to the hair, um, like the haircut place, like maybe two or three times in my entire life. The last time my husband just trimmed my hair. So, um, to save money. So yeah. And then usually I would just give my boys their haircut here at home. You guys all have wrenches, right? Yes. Okay. But yes, a haircut for you guys, y'all have to go and get it done because, you know, there's certain ways that y'all want it. And <clears throat> um, Yes, uh, hey, I will try that tonight if it gets too cold. Yes, exactly. And baby chicks, you know, they're not going to go anywhere, so you can always bring them in the house. Or put them in a safe spot, put a container in there with some hay, and they'll all cuddle together. And I've, I don't worry. I know exactly what you've been, what you're going through, because I've had that happen before. Um, when the heat lamps go out, I've raised chicks, and you know, we always think we need all these things for our animals, which sometimes. You do, and sometimes you don't, because nature will take course and do its own thing. They'll be fine. I'll be back after breakfast. Ooh, what are you having for breakfast, Jeffrey? I'm always nosy. I like to know what everyone's having to eat. I had one egg this morning with some tomato slices and avocado. That was my breakfast this morning. And then I'm going to have some pickled jelly beans for a snack. <laughs> for I'm going to show you guys and do like a little review while we're on here in about an hour or two. And um, I found pickled jelly beans. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Well, what do the hens do on a cold night? Yeah, exactly. She would cuddle them. Exactly. So if they, they cuddle together, they'll be fine. How many... Um, I, I don't know. I, I think you told me. How many baby chicks do you have in the in the container? I know you said quite a bit of them. Um, can y'all see the coloring page? Do I need to move this down a little bit more? Let's see if I can move that down. Hold on. Do I need to move this down? Can y'all see okay? Um, oh, the four. Okay, still waiting for more eggs to hatch. Good. Good morning, Risa. Welcome in. Um, an English muffin. Oh, English muffins are good. Do you eat plain English muffins or do you put anything on them, Jeffrey? How are you doing, Corner? I'm so sorry about the noise. I promise I will get a quieter pencil sharpener. Yellow Laboratory told me it sounded like a turbojet engine. <laughs> like, I do not want it to be loud on here. You're at work. So am I. <laughs> We're all heading to work. Some of us are off today. Um, I don't want my eggs to hatch. Just boil, scramble, or fry. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. You know, you know what I, you know what I've done before? I've, and I felt so bad. You know, when you go to gather the eggs, um, I have before tried to crack it open and there'd be a baby chicken there. And I just was like, oh, my goodness. Felt so bad. So, so bad. All right. So she's got her black suit. And we're going to try to round her fingers to look like. Mm 
Now her thumb's hidden, so but so she needs flippers, right? So let's see if I can do this and we'll just color her whole hand looking like a flipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And then she's got a flipper over here. That is hilarious. Almost looks like, okay, maybe we need to put more of a point. I don't know. I hear sirens already. All right. We'll give her some black shoes. Actually, I should have done yellow. We'll do black right there and then spread it in and do some yellow. We'll do yellow shoes. Oh, yeah, that will happen too, Anne. A lot of times we help them out. You can help the baby chicks out because what they do is they need to get that first breath of air. All right. Let's do maybe this yellow. This yellow. We'll do that white. Maybe we'll do this lightly gray. Well, not lightly gray, just lighter for her pocket. All right. So there is Sophia. I don't know if y'all can see her too well, but she's got flippers. She's got the penguin suit on. So we are done with the ladies. One way of hens lay eggs. They're extremely thick. Yes. That means you're feeding them well. <laughs> is she a Teletubby? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Lots of calcium, suppose. Yeah, exactly, Anne. Exactly. So we got the Joker, the Penguin. I don't know what else we got going on here. All right, let's see. What color are we going to color to the floor? I guess we can color to the floor. Who's Batgirl? <laughs> no Batgirl. <laughs> She's not in here. <laughs> Our cat woman, purple floor. Oh, purple floor. All right. It's a good thing I stopped. Um, let's see. Purple floor. Yeah, you guys tell me and I'll color it. Be hilarious. Purple floor. Gotcha. Let's do Yep. I decided to bring you with me to the kitchen. Yay, we're in the kitchen with you. <laughs> I feel like 95% of my time is in the kitchen, but now 95% of my time is going to be coloring. <laughs> Purple floor. You got it. You know, that's the whole point and the whole fun is when you're coloring is to have fun with it. So this book will be our fun book. And then I have one that I'm going to, when I'm done with this, we'll do the three marker challenge. Who's cooking? <laughs> Jeff's cooking. He's making an English muffin.
I know some people, they just like to put butter on the English muffin, but I like to make sandwiches or something out of the English muffin or put something on it like, um, like sausage and egg and cheese, English muffin or bacon or ham. Well, I'm not really a ham person, but we need to darken these lines right here. This page is going to come out fantastic. Ooh, the charcoal grill, yeah. How cold is it right now where you're at? I know you were getting some, you said you were getting some snow. Hey, Skywalker, how are you? Welcome in. How are you doing? What are you up to today? Hey, a purple floor was actually a good idea. It's kind of cool looking. Ooh, that is too cold. No, thank you. You know, it was, um, it was kind of cold this morning. I did step outside for a little bit before I did my came on here, I was telling my husband and older son bye, and it was, um, was pretty cold. Too cold for me. I don't like being cold. It's raining where you're at. Are y'all supposed to, is it supposed to rain all day, Scotty, or just, just in the morning or the afternoon? Or is it all day rain? Yes, Mark, you go earn your pennies, and I will be here. I'm thinking of staying on a little bit longer today. We'll see what happens. Even if it's for 30 minutes or an extra hour, we'll see. I don't have, I really don't have that much to do today. <laughs> All right. What color should I do the the walls? I got the purple floor. Is that a what is that right there? I don't know what that is on the side of her. What do y'all think? We got some purple floors going on. What color should we do the wall? Any suggestions for the wall? No 
suggestions? Alright, well then I'll just, let's see. Maybe we'll do brown. Some type of neutral color. Yep. Yeah, we'll do like a dark brown trim and a light brown on the on the wall. A little trim going on here. Hey, Mimi, how are you? You just did a live. Ooh, you got it done early. Good for you, Mimi. If you haven't yet, you guys check out Mimi's place. Y'all go rewatch her lives, watch her videos, check her out, connect with her. Mimi is awesome. All of you are awesome. You guys check each other out. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? It's that, the Golden Girls. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I can add somewhere, I can add red somewhere in here, Scotty. I can make the picture frame red. I think I have a red in here somewhere. What is this color? This is a type of red. We can do the picture frame red. We will add red in here for you, Scotty. I'm just looking at um, Blanche, and I forgot to color her earrings, so we'll have to get a color her earrings. Can y'all see the coloring page? What did I miss? Ankle is fine, but the right knee is killing me, and I don't know why. Oh my goodness, Mimi. What is going on with you, my dear? You just can't get a break, can you? What did you do to yourself, Mimi?
Any ideas on what we should color the chair? I'm going to do the picture frame red, and I don't know what's going on in there, so we'll just give it different colors. But they are sitting on a chair, so there's a chair right here. Um, right here <laughs> that they're sitting on. So we'll have to figure out what color we want that. Any ideas for the chair? Oh, nice. That's good news. Nice, Anne. Yellow Laboratory. <laughs> Welcome in. We're getting the Golden Girls finished here. People are um, giving me suggestions on what I should color what. So we got a purple, flare, purple floor going on, and we made Sophia look like the penguin from Batman. <laughs> I'm glad that your camera came in, and at least there's some good news for hubby to get home to explain to me how it works. <laughs> exactly. What do you like taking pictures of, Anne? Oh, for the YouTube videos. Okay, cool. Very cool. Golden Girls! <laughs> yes, Yellow Laboratory. But my Golden Girls are looking like Batman characters, kind of. I'll show you. <laughs> You're going to be like, what the heck? Look at this. So we've got the penguin over here. <laughs> we got the Joker and then these two, I don't know. Looks good. I can't even do infrared. Nice, Anne. I'm so happy for you. So yeah, we got that going on. We got a purple floor and a neutral background. We're going to do a red picture frame because someone said throw red in there. So we'll do, we'll do red frame. And then I need a suggestion on what to color the chair. They're sitting on a chair. So... I'm just playing around being silly in this one. Then we'll just do different colors over here because I don't know what's going on with this page or what it is inside the frame here.
Yes, Yellow Laboratory is just looking very funny. Back from the school, still watching. Thank you, Tonya. Welcome back. I know you want to get out your colors and your and your coloring books and color with me. So I am almost done coloring this page and then we will do the three marker challenge because that's always fun. And then when we're done coloring that page, we will do a review on pickled jelly beans that I found from Five Below. So that's going to be interesting because I've never had pickled flavored jelly beans before. So we'll see how that comes out. I think that's actually part of the couch, so we'll just go ahead and go with this color, maybe this color for the couch. You want baby chicks really bad yellow laboratory? Do you have a spot you can put them? Oh my God, I know. These ladies are hilarious. I love the Golden Girls. I'm making them look a little funky though. Playing around and making them look silly. I watch clips of them on YouTube. Hey Jason, welcome back. I'm still here. Well, they have to do um, they're doing Ramadan, uh, yellow laboratory. It's part of their, their culture. They do it, um, Mm-hmm. 
Oh, you have blood sugar problems too, Ann? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Wow, I didn't know that, Ann. How... That's crazy. Yes, make sure that you're eating. I know all of us are different. Some of us can go a long time without eating, and some of us need to eat, and some of us, you know, do not hurt yourself. And... We do not want that happening to you. I eat like once or twice a day. Or if I feel like eating. All right, all we have to do now is color the lights. We'll do them green up here on top. Yeah, if somebody has health issues, it's important to eat. But if somebody doesn't have health issues, um, you know, it, every everything's different. Everybody's different. There's Goliath making his rooster noises. Jason, are you going to boxing class today? Do you have training today or do you go every day or do you... <sighs> All right, I think we are done with this page. So this page, oh wait, I forgot to color. Oh no, hold on, where'd my color go for that one? Oh well, it's gonna look different. <laughs> All right, this page is done. We finished the Golden Girls. Can y'all see that? We got this page done. And so now we're going to do the three marker challenge. So I'm going to put all these pencils back in here. Be right back. Mm -hmm. 
we will get the markers out. We've got our savory book back out again, and let's see what page we are coloring today. Looks like we've got some more ice cream here. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I think we're coloring, yep, we're coloring waffles this morning with some blueberries and some, I don't even know what that is. Let's see, blueberries, raspberries, maybe some almonds, some mint. We got a lady holding a fork. All right, so this is the page we are going to be working on for the three marker challenge. So this will be very interesting. Who likes waffles? We don't need the pencil sharpener. We've got our markers out. We're gonna mix them up. And we are going to pick, I'm gonna close my eyes because I'm not allowed to see what I get. So I'm gonna close my eyes and pick three markers. There's one. Two, three. Oh, come on now. <laughs> We're not even working with pretty colors today, really. All right, so we have olive yellow and we have chocolate color and sunflower. Just food in general, mainly junk food. <laughs> My health issues started four years ago, open heart surgery, open diabetes, same time. Wow, Scotty. Yeah, who doesn't like junk food, right? So we are going to color waffles. Unfortunately, they're not pretty colors, but that's okay. We will make it work. I mean, who doesn't like waffles? So here we go. We got waffles to color. Three marker challenge going on right now. Pick three markers and use those three markers to color with. You don't get any more than that. You guys try that. It's fun if you haven't tried that yet. Man, this person must be really hungry because there's four waffles on this plate. Oh, wow, Anne. All of you have been through so much. I'll tell you what though, through everything all of you have been through, you are strong, you are beautiful, all of you are amazing, and I'm glad that I found you, and I'm glad that you found me, and that we're connected.
And all of you are doing great things. I know some of y'all like to write poetry. Y'all are artists. Y'all take care of animals. Like, the things y'all do are wonderful. Every time I color a food page, it makes me hungry. Spinach waffles. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know about that. All right, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's headed to work, but it's it's his Friday, so he'll be off tomorrow. Have a good day at work, Jeffrey. <laughs> We are getting these waffles colored. And after I color this page, we are going to try pickled jelly beans that I found from Five Below. So you guys stick around. Oh my gosh, Jason. If I was fasting, I would not be watching anything that has to do with food. <laughs> I'd be sleeping. I would be sleeping, Jason. <laughs> I'm like, don't show me food. Don't talk about food. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> be like, no, thank you. I don't want to smell it. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. You be safe out there. Every day is my Friday. Me too, Scotty. <laughs> I am right there with you. I do not have to leave for work. Every day is my Friday. I am right there with you, my friend. But we got those waffles colored pretty fast. We've got a bunch of almonds over here almonds are good for you any of y'all like almonds almonds are healthy at least we got some healthy stuff on this plate it's not all just junk food we've got almonds and blueberries and raspberries and <clears throat> Let's see, are there any more almonds anywhere? I do not see any. Let's go ahead and color. We'll this could be chocolate syrup, I guess, on some butterscotch waffles. I don't know about making spinach waffles. I have seen people use their waffle maker to make stuff like that. They'll mix up some scrambled eggs and... um. 
throw in some vegetables and put it in the waffle maker and throw some cheese on it. That sounds good. I guess we'll color the blueberries yellow. I forgot a spot on the syrup. I have to go back and color that. I'm not even staying in the lines. Where did everybody go? Did everyone leave me? All right, we are going to color. I forgot this spot over here. I need to get that colored. Oh, we need a blueberry over here. All right, Jason, you're here. <clears throat> Thank you for still being here. If it gets quiet, it's okay. I'm just doing my thing. Just making sure there's still, there's three people in the chat. All right. Get this fork colored. And those of you who are not in the chat, thank you for being here, for whoever's watching. I appreciate you guys, even if you're not making a comment and you're just watching. I appreciate everyone who is taking their time out of their way to join me. We don't have much choice but to color this raspberry brown. Guess we can color these leaves. We'll make these leaves striped. We'll do every other one. Give it some different colors. <laughs> you know yesterday when I got off my live and it'll show you how many people were watching you I had 190 people watching which is awesome but not everybody talks they just watch
Oh, nice. Golden berries. Well, there you go. They can be golden berries. <laughs> Why not? Why not? So if you are out there and you've been watching me for a while, go ahead and say hi. I would love to hear from you guys. I know some people um, don't have where they can chat because they don't have like a setup thing. So a lot of times they'll watch on. Yes, there are. <laughs> Um, Jason, to be honest, if it was up to me, hello, Mona, you're waiting for your mom. I hear you, Mona, but I, I do appreciate the little time, um, that you give me and that you come on here. So I do appreciate it. Um, Jason, if it was up to me, I would live out in the country, um, with no neighbors. <laughs> And it would be nothing but, but animals and gardens. <laughs> of course I would invite people over, but, you know, the neighbors have to be far and few between. Right now I live in the city, and um, which I don't mind. I love all my neighbors, but um, I guess a village because, I mean, you only gave me two choices, but I think a village would be nice because... You get to know all your neighbors. You help each other out, protect each other. I mean, you can do that in the city, but I guess you can do that anywhere. But a village would be cool. I've never lived in a village. I guess you can say our little city here is a village. <laughs> we could call it a village. But if it was up to me, to me, I'd be like, I am out of here. I am in the country with goats and ducks and chickens. <laughs> Oh my god, Yellow Laboratory! Are you gonna get baby chickens? Ah, You've decided. You just couldn't help it. <laughs> How exciting. I'm so happy for you. You're gonna love it. Their little chirping sound and they're so fluffy and like so cute. Just keep them away from your dogs. <laughs> or you can train them to get used to them, but Make sure you have a secure place for them at all times. Because they do fly. Don't think they won't fly when they get older. I've had some where I had them like in a little bucket thing and they have flown right out of the container. Like one of those big blue um, Rubbermaid containers. And they have, once they get to a certain age, they'll fly right out. So you got to really watch them. I don't even know what I'm doing with this page anymore. Nice. You had some chickens too, huh, Jason? Yeah, chickens are fun to have. They are they really are. I mean, there's some pros and cons. I did a video on pros and cons, but, you know, they really are fun to, to have. And you can name them and...
They're really cool. I like birds, so I like all animals. If it was up to me, I would have like all kinds of animals if I had the space. I would have guinea pigs and goats and chickens and ducks and rabbits and turtles and fish. Lizards. I used to have an iguana. I used to have pet mice. I had a wild tarantula at one point that my husband had found, brought it home, and I put it in a tank, and then he found another one, and I thought they were fighting, and um, long and behold, they were mating, and then she laid a sack, and I was like, okay, time to go, otherwise we would have had like thousands of tarantulas everywhere. Crow flew away with two chicks. Oh my goodness. Five of them died. Oh wow. And stray cat killed three. Oh my goodness, Jason. Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, the chickens have a lot of enemies for sure. Because they'll go after the eggs. They'll go after that chicken. You got to be very careful with them. You're still here, Yellow Laboratory. I'm glad that you're still here. How many chickens do you want to get, Yellow Laboratory? Only seven left out of 12. Well, at least you had the seven. Y'all are making me want to move back in the in the country. Oh, you don't have chickens anymore. I see fur is still in here. Thank you for still being here. This page is looking, I don't even know what. I guess we can make, we're going to have to make these lemons. These are going to look like lemons over here. Lemons and waffles. And some golden berries. Oh, he's okay, Jason. He's fine. I know who he is, Jason. How many are you going to get, Yellow Laboratory? It's okay, Jason. He's fine. He's just joking. He came from somebody else's channel, and um, they're fine, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. I know, Yellow Laboratory. Those Golden Girls are a riot. I think a lot of people like the Golden Girls. They were hilarious. 
No, he's not Jason. No, he's not. He's fine. <clears throat> yeah, he's because of the tarantulas, the spiders. I would I did not want thousands of tarantulas in my house. <laughs> I was like, uh, no, pass. I think I'm going to leave the background white and the plate and that just so that way we can see all of this. It's going to be a white background. Maybe we'll do the border. We're almost done with this, and then we're going to try those pickled jelly beans that I found from Five Below. So we're almost done here. I'm just going to do this border. You're scared of spiders and lizards. I like lizards. Spiders are cool as long as they don't touch me. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to hold one. I'd hold a lizard. I had an iguana. Lizards are okay. But man, I'll tell you what, when my lizard would get mad, he'd whip me with his tail because the iguanas whip with their tails. And he got me a few times and it hurts. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? No spiders for you. Spiders are cool. They they keep they help keep the insect population down. Their webs are really cool. Except for when you walk into it. <laughs> I've walked into spider webs a couple of times and that's yeah, it's not fun. Walking into a spider web. It's one of those things like you you freak out and it's like, oh, you know, because then you're like, where's that spider? <laughs> All right. So we are done with this page here, the three marker challenge. There you have it. And now we are going to try those. They look dangerous, but some of them, some of them are poisonous and some of them aren't. So you just got to know in your area which ones are poisonous and which ones are not. All right. I might need some scissors for this. I need to keep a little pair of scissors in my drawer. But we are going to try these pickled jelly beans. And I got these from Five Below and I have not tried them yet. Let's see if I can... Oh, here. We can open it from the corner. So, let me know. Well, I know some of you can't, but... Okay. Oh, my God. They smell like pickles. Um, you know when you open a jar of pickles and you get that, like, sour hint? Like, oh, my God. They do. They do smell like pickles. My mouth is watering already just from the pickle smell. I love pickles. All right, we're going to try one. Hopefully it tastes like a pickle. I don't know. Sometimes you'll get like jelly beans and they won't. So let's see. Okay, here's what they look like. We're going to try it. I'm scared. Hmm. <laughs> okay. They have a little hint of pickle, but it's not like overpowering pickle. And then you kind of get like a little sweet after. So it's like when you initially first take that bite, it's a hint of pickle. And then it's a sweet, which is weird. These are actually pretty good. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> I like weird stuff like this. Right? So... 
Yeah, if you go to Five Below and um, and you see these, you need to try them. I know some of you can't because you're diabetic, but oh my god, these are pretty good. I like these. Yummy, yummy. All right. We're going to put these to the side. Not bad. Not bad at all. And they're not like super hard either. Like some jelly beans. I don't know. They're pretty good. Get some water there. All right. So we're going to... color in my cute book again, Cupcakes and Kittens. I do have different books, but this one is just too darn cute not to color in. Where is my little... Let's find a page. Last time we did the cactus. And so now let's see. There's little donuts. There's like a little castle. Oh my God, this is so cute. Should we color bananas? <laughs> Look at these bananas hanging out on the beach. <laughs> oh my God, how cute is that? <laughs> I think we're gonna color bananas. They're too cute not to. When the one banana's like, hey, all chilling right there on the beach. <laughs> all right. We're going to have fun coloring this. <clears throat> we'll start with the sun. We'll color him yellow. Maybe I'll do, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I think I'm just going to do all markers. I like coloring with the markers because they're bright and fun. some green here for the palm tree. Hey Lisa, how are you? Welcome in. How are you doing today, Miss Lisa? What are the plans? Are you working today?
So yesterday I couldn't work in the garden because it was drizzling and it was muddy. But today I'm definitely going to go out there and work in the garden. No problem, Lisa. No problem. I know, I know people have to work, so you will get to it when you can. Just like I, I, I feel you, girl, because sometimes I cannot get to everybody either, and it is not a problem. I'm just glad you're here now. That's all that matters. Not everyone can stay on YouTube all day. <laughs> I know people have things to do. I unfortunately don't have that much to do. I might have one or two things to do. And that is it. It is almost Easter time, and I still don't know what I'm going to take for the potluck. I'm trying to think of something different, because every year people bring the same thing, and I'm like, nope, I am going to think outside the box and try something different. Oh, no, I totally understand, Lisa. I totally understand. It's hard to get to, if, you know, people have lives. People are busy, you know, people have things to do. Easter's coming up, and so people are, are planning that and making plans to get with family and have things going on. You have plans? What are you doing for Easter, Lisa? What do y'all do? Yeah, exactly. I like to try different things, you know? I don't like to be, I don't like to do what everyone else is doing. If you say tomato, I say avocado. <laughs> you know? I'm just different like that. 
you know, because the norm for Easter, people bring, you know, deviled eggs and jalapeno poppers and they'll barbecue brisket and chicken and make salad and have pea salad and potato salad. It's all the same, you know. They'll bring desserts, cookies, brownies. So I'm like, what aren't people bringing? Maybe I'll look up a recipe from a different country and take that to my potluck. I like to look up different recipes from other countries and states and... Think outside the box a little bit. These bananas chilling on the beach are just too darn cute. This coloring book really does have some really cute pictures in it. This banana is going to be neon yellow. Oh, nice, Lisa. Yeah, we're going to church, too. We're going to um, Sunday service in the morning. We're going to get up early, and we help set up for the outside service. And... Um, And then we'll have service and we're heading to a, well, then I got to come and hopefully I can make everything the night before. And, um, in this picture, cute, these bananas <laughs> and, um, head on over there. You know, and a lot of times Easter, like the holidays, is the only time we see extended family. So we only see them once a year, which is kind of sad. But, you know, everyone lives far and everyone's doing their thing. And before you know it, it's been a year since you've seen everybody. I wish I was on the beach right now.
These bananas look like they're having a fun time on the beach. Makes me want to go back to the beach. For sure. I kind of want to do the background some more blue, but let's see. Oh my goodness. I need like a little desk next to me to hold these colors. I don't have enough space. All right. We'll do a border. Thank you. Yeah, the colors are very, um, very cheerful, aren't they? And bright. <laughs>
Woo Rider, how are you? How are you doing? Everything is good over here. I'm glad that you're doing well. I like to hear when people are doing good. What are your plans for today? Doctor's appointments and errands. Are the kiddos okay? Or is it just a follow-up? The yearly checkup. I know in April, there's quite a bit of doctor's appointments coming up in April for us. It always seems like there's errands to run, doctor's visits, oh no, oh poor babies, I'm so sorry, ear infections are not fun, that is painful. I know. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm going to be praying for your kiddos because I suffered from ear infections when I was little and I've had tubes put in my ears. And so, I mean, of course I don't remember, but I used to get them even as an adult sometimes and it is painful. Those poor babies. Make sure you give them big hugs and I don't I don't know like the things with the insurance too. Oh my god, the insurance. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Derek and Journey. Journey. Okay, Derek and Journey. Yes, I will definitely be praying for Derek and Journey. I am going to write your baby's names down and I will say a prayer for them because ear infections are not fun.
My mom said when I was little, I used to always be on antibiotics because of my ear infections. The, um, and it was like, Yep, antibiotics. It just seems like, and you know what, though? You know what I learned? You have to be very careful, um, Rude Rider, because you know what I found out? I mean, not all the time. In some cases, it can be an, an, an allergy to food. And when my son was little, he had ear infections all the time, and they wanted to do surgery to put tubes in his ears. But something told me, hold on a second, and I got a second opinion, and we had them allergy tested, and it came to find out that they were aller he was allergic to dairy, to eggs. I mean, he was constantly um, having stuffy noses and ear infections and just seemed sick, like a cold type thing. And it was food allergies. And I didn't know food allergies could cause all that stuff. And so... Have they ever been tested for food allergies? Okay, they do. Same thing. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about because I went through the same thing with mine. And, you know, at first he went to the doctor a couple of times before we found out, you know, he had, it was his formula and then it was this and that and he couldn't have, and he has eczema real, like he had eczema real bad and come to find out it was the eggs causing it and it's like, man, <laughs> you know, this poor kid. And we don't know as parents, you know, we just, we do the best we can and we're trying to feed them and do this and, oh, runny noses and coughs with it not sure about allergies oh i would definitely get them tested for allergies um because you just never know they might have a food allergy they might have a seasonal allergy i think it'd be a great idea to um to get them tested but you have to be the advocate you have to put your foot down and tell these doctors you know this is what I want done because a lot of times they just like, okay, here, and they don't care, you know, some do, but some don't. So I would definitely get them checked out for that because you just never know. Because what if they don't need, you know, all this stuff and it could just be a change in their diet, something as simple as that. And then they don't have to be on all those antibiotics and medicines and stuff, you know. Poor babies. Yeah, I know. It is like pulling teeth with these doctors. You know, you go in there and you tell them this is what's happening and they're doctors and they should know better and they should sit there and say, okay, well, we're going to do everything we can. Let's get them allergy tested because they know allergies cause these symptoms. You know, they're, they're not, you know, back then the doctors used to care more and nowadays these doctors are just like, whatever, they don't even care anymore. And then to get a doctor's appointment takes weeks. And it's like, okay, so something worse could happen. Um, and, and then I'm going to have to go to the emergency room and pay more money. And then half the time when you go into the doctor's office, you're like, there's hardly anybody there. And you're like, okay, why did it take weeks to get an appointment? 
when there's nobody sitting in, you know, there's no one there. And then they're just sitting on their phones half the time. Well, at least the receptionists are, you know, and then they don't get back with you. It's like, you have to call them back. It's like, it's ridiculous. Yep. That's all they do. They don't take time with these people or kids anymore. You know, they used to take a long time with each patient and now it's just like, they treat you as fast as possible and you're, they hand you medicine and you're out the door. <laughs> wow. Way too much. Oh my gosh. That is way too much for one doctor. 300. Wow. That is insane. No wonder why nobody can get in. <laughs> to see a doctor right away. All right, so we are done with this page. This came out really cute. So this page is done. Bananas just chilling on the beach. Yeah, that is that's a lot for um That's crazy. I didn't realize that the doctors had 300 patients. <clears throat> That's insane. No wonder why these doctors are tired and they just want to get you in and out real quick. <laughs> Yeah, food allergies. Yeah, just look into it. You never know. You know, you never know. Because the runny noses, the 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 ears, I mean, they always seem like they had a he had a cold and we got him tested and sure enough it was eggs, it was dairy, he was allergic to all nuts and seeds. I mean, just everything under the sun. <laughs> so, definitely it's something to look into. <laughs> Because you don't want the doctor saying, oh, your kids are going to need surgery and have tubes in their ears when they didn't need it altogether. And why put these poor babies, you know, through any of that? I would just look into it. Let's see if we can't color in a different book. Let's pick a different book to color in. Oh, my goodness. We've already colored in that one, that one. Let me pick, let's see what I have over here. I've colored in this one already. I'm still here, guys. I'm just picking out another book. Y'all are going to laugh at me. You know what I got here? I'll use my... I've got Lisa Frank over here. Who remembers Lisa Frank? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened to the top part of it. It looks like it got dirty. But I haven't colored in this book in a long time. I don't have I don't know if I have regular crowns. I thought I did, but Welcome in, Gray Man. Yeah, I know, Gray Man. We don't stand the chance of being healthy at all, do we? <laughs> Get my big old bucket of matte pencils over here. Got my markers over here. Got too much stuff. I need a bigger desk, y'all. 
Yep, absolutely. You know, you try to be healthy and you do everything you can. And it just seems like no matter what, <laughs> something always ends up happening, right? So we have Lisa Frank. And I got this book. Don't mind. I don't even know what all this is. It could just be markers and I don't even know what this is. But I got it from Walmart a long time ago. Lisa Frank. And so we'll see what happens in here. There's some cute pages in here. Oh my gosh, I just can't. Oh, they have an owl page. Well, should we color the owls? I think we should color the owls. Look at that. Looks simple and cute enough. Why not? They even have like little puzzle games in here. They have cute stuff in here. <clears throat> How much do those coloring books cost on average? It depends. Um, it depends, Gray Man. Sometimes you can find them on sale. Like this book here was $4.74. <laughs> Um, I try to find them on sale when they're like 25% off, 50% off. There are some coloring books that are, you know, like the adult coloring books. They can get a little bit pricey, but about six, seven bucks, anywhere between five, seven, eight bucks. But they're not that expensive. You can, I mean, I used to go, they, I mean, back then they used to be like a dollar, two dollars, you know, I remember the old school coloring books like this, like the kitty ones, you know, you got Garfield, Scooby-Doo and all that. And they weren't that expensive. I think I'll just use my pencils. The markers might bleed through too much. And I thought I had some crowns somewhere. Guys, I have tons and tons. I'm going to have to go through them, but I think we'll use pencils for this. I don't need nothing bleeding through. Fur is working. It is a cheap hobby and it's fun. <laughs> it's not that expensive at all. You know, very cheap hobby. I'm a very frugal, cheap person. <laughs> You can go to the Dollar Tree and get good, good coloring books. Yeah, I know. They have them at Dollar Tree, Big Lots. I mean, they have them, you know. Well, actually, now I think the prices are going up to a dollar fifty. Can you believe that at Dollar Tree? Like, why are prices going to be going up, like, even more? <laughs> it's insane. But a lot of this stuff, you know, I like to go to Walmart and you can get them on Amazon. Um, the coloring books for the like adult coloring books and stuff. But I need to find me like a Care Bear coloring book. I need to find me a Garfield, like the Smurfs. I want an Alice in Wonderland. Like I just need a shelf full of coloring books. <laughs> I need an office, like an art office, <laughs> where I can have all my stuff. And the good thing is, is when you buy these books, I mean, a book can take you forever to color in. It's fun entertainment for sure, especially on rainy days, like if you can't go outside or, and they have really cool coloring books for guys too. Guys love to cut, like, 
just to be artistic and just kind of sit there with your coffee and um but they have like star wars and they have i mean they have all kinds of stuff for everybody i think i have a star wars coloring book actually i have star wars and i had harry potter somewhere at one point i think i still have it Hey, Echo. How are you feeling, Echo? I've been praying for you. I know, right, Lisa? Those thick, big coloring books. They even have those huge ones that you can put on the floor. I remember getting one for Christmas one year when I was little and um, it was a huge activity book that you can put on the floor. And I would just sit there for hours, like lay there for hours coloring. You're still having muscle cramps. Oh my goodness. Make sure you're taking a, intaking a lot of vegetables, um, bananas for the potassium. I, I mean, Echo, have they said anything? Have the doctors said anything about if you're going to have to have surgery or not? So waiting. So you haven't had the MRI yet or you have had the MRI? And you're just waiting to see? I just hate that you have to be in pain for so long before finding out. Oh no, not yet. Oh no. So you haven't even had it done yet. You poor thing. I hope everyone's helping you and your family. I hope they're taking very good care of you, Echo.
Guys, I'll tell you what. If I could have a pet owl, I would. <laughs> a small little cute owl as a pet. Hello, Corey. How are you? Welcome into the chat. Anything new going on, Corey? So first thing this morning, my before my husband was leaving for work, he got a phone call from his brother and um, his tire went flat. <laughs> Not yet, just been real busy. Well, don't be, don't work too hard, Corey. So my husband had to take stuff so he can help him with the flat tire this morning. Oh my goodness. I'm going to pray for you, Corey. What kind of weather are y'all going to be getting? I'll tell you what, sometimes the weather scares me and you just never know what it's going to do. How bad is it going to get? Oh, pencil broke. Of course it did. This pencil's almost had it. <laughs> this pencil has almost had it. Heavy rain and strong winds. Yeah, I don't think you'd be fishing in that. That would not be good to fish in at all. That is not the type of weather you want to fish in. Oh no. You had a flat tire the other day, a tiny piece of metal. Oh gosh. Sorry to hear that. And you know, tires are, are expensive to get new tires or even just to have work on them done when something like that happens. You poor thing, Corey. Or wood, wood Rider, you're going through your kids being sick and then, a, you know, with your tire. Oh, my goodness. All of us go through seasons. It feels like when everything happens, it rains, it pours, doesn't it? seems like everything always happens at once, but just know it won't last forever. 
you go through these things, as long as you're staying loving and patient and you'll get through it. Good morning, son. Morning. How'd you sleep? Uh, Did you get enough sleep? Yeah. Good. My son is just waking up, guys. My teenager. Pretty soon I won't be able to use this little pencil. Yeah, I know. Just another day at the office, right? I hear you. Real life. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have struggles. You're going to have good times, bad times, but you'll get we all get through it. Sometimes it feels like it never ends. <laughs> but you just got to laugh and Brush it off. Yeah, Echo, I know. It's always something. That's life, I guess, right? You have, like I said, you'll have a season where everything's good. It can go good for months. But it's how you deal with it that matters. Do you need help, son? Hold on, guys. One second. Yes, your reaction makes all the difference for sure.
All right, I'm back. Y'all still with me? Just had to help my son. We had to go get um, chicken feed and dog feed yesterday. And we took him out of the truck, but we didn't take him to the back. And so I was helping him. What did I miss? Nothing. Okay. I mean, getting back to the reactions, um, I know there are some people who just get so upset and angry, and they'll stay angry for a while because they feel like everything's going wrong. Why me? Why is this happening? But the thing is, is not to question it. It's to sit back, take a deep breath. And welcome it because it's only for a season and how you deal with it and you stay calm and loving and patient it won't make you feel so sick because you know angry raises blood pressure right anger and frustration and and then you're you get caught up in it and then you you don't know how to come back out of it and then you're mad at everyone around you which doesn't make for the people around you, you know, feel uncomfortable and it's just unpleasant to be around somebody who's constantly um, doing that. So. That's just my opinion anyway. And then I think, you know, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to go through any of it alone. You know? Ask for help if you need it. I know some of us have a hard time asking for help. But I've learned that you won't receive the help if you don't ask. People are going to think, you know, that you don't need it. All right, Woodrider, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. You take care of yourself. Echo, were you able to get um, some sleep last night? I know that you have a boot on, and I'm sure it's difficult. But I'm hoping that you're getting rest. Oh, good. 
Good, Echo. I'm glad that you're resting. Mike, welcome in. Yes. <laughs> yes, Mike. My favorite activity does put me in a good mood for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> My happy spot. <laughs> Absolutely. Me coloring is my happy spot, for sure. Everyone should have a happy spot, a happy place, a happy whatever that makes them happy that they could do. You know, like the beach, oh my God, if I could be fishing or at the beach or coloring or in the garden, like I have a lot of happy spots. <laughs> I enjoy everything, I just enjoy life. I'm pretty easygoing. You put me somewhere and I will just zen. And I'm just like, I'm chilled. I'm good. <laughs> whether it's at the beach, whether it's at home, in somebody's home, you know, just sit there and talk with them, anything. But this right here, my favorite happy spot. <laughs> Video games, <laughs> your happy spot. <laughs> Well, there you go, Fur. <laughs> Your happy spot is games. Yeah, my kid, my kids love playing games. That's that's what they do. <laughs> I want to make these owls fun, so we're gonna do them different colors again. Seems like I've just been using the same colors. The color. <laughs> we're gonna have to dig down and get to the bottom and see what colors are at the bottom. some video games but I like the the older video games I like Pac-Man and Tetris and I like Peggle old school Mario <laughs> yep my sons too yeah my house is so quiet like believe it or not because we all tend to just um we come together as a family, but we do our separate things too. We come together to eat. We come together for church. We come together, you know, quite a bit, have conversations. But um, mine's coloring. The boys have their video games. My husband watches YouTube when he gets home, chats with me for a little bit, and he does his thing and, you know. My house is quiet. I mean, for having four people in the house, I just can't believe how quiet it is. Because <laughs> I know some families, they're like, my house is so loud all the time, you know, and, and it's okay, you know, laughing, whatever, but not in my house. My house is pretty, pretty zinned out. <laughs> Pretty calm.
I might be on here a little bit longer today. We'll see what happens. Even if I go to take a break, I'm going to let it run. See what happens. Why not? And show you what this page looks like so far. It's really cute. We got that first owl colored. Hello, Bus and Move. How are you? Welcome in. We are back at it with coloring. Let's see what orange and blue looks like. Maybe we'll throw a little gold in here. How about that? You guys know where I'll be, here coloring. Maybe one day I'll actually get through a whole coloring book. <laughs> one day. Thank you, son. Yeah. Appreciate it. Guys, that's another thing. Always let your family know you appreciate them. It's always nice to feel appreciated. I always let my kids know and my family know that I appreciate them and what they're doing. I think it's important to do that. Oh my God, this owl is so cute. Okay, if I had a pet owl, this is the owl <laughs> I would want it to look like. It is too cute. Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? No. Okay.
If I'm not talking, I apologize. I am watching um, to see if anyone pops up to ask or say anything. And if not, then I'm just going to do my thing and I will be here coloring. <laughs> But I do appreciate all of you being here and taking your time out to help me with my watch time hours. Y'all are all greatly appreciated. Even the ones that aren't coming into the chat that are just watching in the background. I appreciate you guys watching too. Where are my dogs barking at? They're always barking at something. Yes, Corey, there are some, probably there are some people on here, Corey, that you might have not connected with. So make sure you are all connecting with each other. might do a couple of pages in this Lisa Frank book. I haven't colored in this book in a very long time. So maybe we'll do a couple of pages out of here. When I was in school, I used to have the Lisa Frank notebooks and I've always liked color. <laughs> Did any of y'all have Lisa Frank Stuff. I mean, I know there's a lot of guys in here, but any of the women or guys, y'all remember Lisa Frank? The stickers, oh my God, the stickers and the notebooks and pens and so fun.
you know what I need to do? I need to eat another pickle jelly bean. <laughs> For those of you who have come on here and haven't seen me, I did these re this review a little while ago on these pickle jelly beans. And, um, and no, I'm not affiliated with anybody. I saw these at Five Below and they are so good. <laughs> And they taste like a pickle. <laughs> pickle jelly beans. It was the last bag at Five Below. The one that I went to. Craziness. These owls are looking so cute on this page. Good morning, Simple Things with Tammy. How are you? Just remind me, um, do you have content? I want to say yes, you do. I'm glad that you're doing well. I am doing fantastic, Tammy. I cannot complain. I mean, I am in my happy spot coloring these beautiful owls from a Lisa Frank book that I've had a long time and I haven't finished. <laughs> I do, but not really active. Well, that's okay. Um, let's see here. Let's give you which. There you go. All I ask is that all. Oh my God! I know Lisa Frank. Love it. I'll show you the book. So this is the book I'm working from, Lisa Frank. And I am coloring these owls right here. I love owls. And so, Tammy, this is the page I'm coloring. They're all sitting on a tree. I'm just coloring them different colors. Oh, that's okay, Tammy. 
Um, if you, um, if you leave a comment on any of my videos, Tammy, I will get back with you. Even if you're not trying to get monetized. Thank you. Yeah, this is, I mean, who doesn't like coloring, right? This is like the happy spot. I did a three marker challenge um, earlier in one of my books. So I met you last night at Jerry and Julie's concert. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. I remember. I do remember. They were singing happy birthday. <laughs> I do remember. Well, welcome in. I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> um, coloring is very relaxing. And I'm usually on here for five hours in the morning, but today, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Usually when I go on my breaks, I watch, you know, other people's cotton and stuff. No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> my birthday passed. I'm a February uh, baby. <laughs> but my my husband's birthday um, is coming up on Sunday. So his birthday falls on Easter this year. <laughs> but not my birthday. I am a February birthday. So mine passed already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you know, some people celebrate their birthdays all like for the whole month, like the birthday month. <laughs> I, I have a friend whose birthday is in December. So not only does she get Christmas, but for the whole month of December, <laughs> she's like, this whole month is mine. And she just, I mean, she goes out to eat and she goes to the, like, the clubs. And I'm like, no, not me. <laughs> I'm not about that. But um, she'll buy herself stuff, like, the whole month. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's party month. <laughs> <laughs> she's a hoot I'll tell you and then me I'm just like I don't want to do nothing on my birthday except for get some coloring books and chill <laughs> I don't go out to eat I don't do any of that I'm always home so unless we're fishing unless the boys want to go fishing or something like that but usually I'm here or in the garden <laughs> Or exercising. I did start an exercise routine thing last night, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, you're from Maryland. Um, I'm from Texas, Tammy. I was born and raised in Texas. I have a friend like that named Dottie. <laughs> Isn't it a hoot to have friends like that? Oh my god, they're so funny. They know how to live it up for sure. <laughs> Me, I don't like huge crowds, so I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll chill. <laughs> my grandma, um, my grandma's name is Dorothy, and so I have a cousin. Um, her niece calls her Dottie. Awesome. I have an ex. <laughs> you have an ex in Texas, <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> All the exes come from Texas. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. I'm having to dig down in my pencil box because I have, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, I absolutely love 
when y'all come on here and we laugh like laughing is the best medicine, <laughs> you know? I love it. I'm trying. Okay, so Tammy, I have this huge old bucket <laughs> of matte pencils, and I'm trying to dig down to the bottom because it feels like I've been using the same colors when I color, so... Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's good. It's really good to laugh every single day, to try to laugh every single day. Wow, I thought I had a lot. You beat me. <laughs> hey, that's not all, Tammy. Okay, so I have this bucket. I'm going to show you my buckets. So I have this bucket of matte pencils, and then I have this tub of full of markers. Um, and then I, <laughs> um, let me see if I can, oh my God, some of it might fall out, but that's okay. I have this huge tub, <laughs> hold on. I have this huge tub full of um, markers and crowns and pins. Um, I'm going to have to like, yeah, all of this, okay? I'll put it over here, actually. We might use some of that later. <laughs> and then, Tammy, I have this huge container <laughs> of markers, too. <laughs> um, so, yes. <laughs> Can you tell that I like to color? <laughs> I think I nearly bought the whole store <laughs> and I still want more. <laughs> I'm like, do I have enough? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. I know. And I have tons of coloring books, but I still want them all. There's some books I don't have that I would love to have. So this is what I enjoy. This I've been, I've loved to color ever since I was little. It was one of those things where you would like, I would be in my room just chill. I mean, I started coloring like at three years old. And ever since I was introduced to it, I'm like, yay. I would have coloring books like the Care Bears and the My Little Pony and Bart, like all these coloring books and and stuff everywhere. You too. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad that I'm meeting people who love to color. <laughs> Because I'm like, am I the only one who loves to color this much and who could spend all day just coloring, <laughs> you know? And coloring is so therapeutic and it's fun and you can kind of just make it your own and be play with it and, you know, be silly with it. So... Absolutely love it. I mean, I'm not like a professional or anything. I've seen some people um, on YouTube because I've watched other coloring channels. And oh my God, they are like professionals at coloring. And it's like, how did you do that? <laughs> we could be best friends. Yes, we can. <laughs> um, we can color together. Get out your colors Get out your coloring book, grab some coffee or tea or water or whatever, and let's color. <laughs> Stuart, welcome in. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> I am doing fantastic. I am, you know, the beginning of the year was a little rough. <laughs> we went through so much stuff at the beginning of the year. Um, but... It has been fantastic for now. BJ, welcome in. Good morning. You're okay, just stressed. Stuart, what are you stressed about? What's going on? What happened? Maybe I maybe we can help each other. Um, or I can help you with that. I don't know if I can help you, but I can try to lift your spirits a little bit. <laughs> 
Yeah, BJ, when I when I checked my status this morning, I saw that you had a live going. I did see that. <laughs> Oh, I got you. There's always, <laughs> there's, you know, YouTube is one of those platforms that it just seems like is always giving people trouble, <laughs> you know? Did you have to restart? An, um, your account? <clears throat> I mean, you've been on here for a while, so I don't understand why they would have to verify it. Are you so? Are you someone you're not, Stuart? <laughs> I have 307 watch time hours in the last three days. Nice, BJ. And are you sure you're not trying to get monetized, BJ? <laughs> need to show, need to have show for my, oh, got you, Stuart. Wait, Stuart. Are you getting monetized? Did I miss something here? <laughs> Tammy, to get back to what you were talking about, um, I have seen the painting videos too, and I love to do poor paintings. Um, that is like so fun to do. No, you just love doing this. <laughs> yeah, I know, BJ. <laughs> you're getting more hours than me, <laughs> and you're not even wanting to get monetized. <laughs> oh, I know, right? The poor paintings? That is, like, so fun. The poor paintings, because you can like blend the colors and you move the canvas around and it blends and it creates like this design and oh my God, it's so fun. So fantastic. <laughs> I have a few videos up that I did, Tammy, where I was doing the poor paintings. I think I have some up there. And I did a live a while back where I showed some of the paintings that I did. But I got rid of all of them. <laughs> so they put my membership on hold. Oh, Stuart, I'm sorry. That is frustrating. But, you know, just stay positive, um, Stuart. And I know things in life can be frustrating. Waiting can be frustrating. But um, just try to have a positive mindset. And um, things will get, things will go the way they're supposed to. Guys, I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> I ate a small breakfast this morning, and I ate some pickled jelly beans. <laughs> I'm trying to drink a lot of water to stay full. <laughs> I will look through your channel sometime today. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, you're babysitting? I started babysitting at 12 years old, Tammy. I started babysitting... And um, I worked in child care. I had my own in-home uh, daycare when my kids were little. I always used to love um, teaching kids. And that was so fun. Are you going to cook on this live <laughs> show? Us your food. Make us hungry. <laughs> um, I don't do live cooking, but I do show food. Absolutely. I always show what I'm cooking. <laughs> The only thing that I want to do is give away stickers, but I don't know anyone that does them. Um, BJ, you're going to have to look up in your area for um, Jamaican Fishing had told me. Um, what are they called? Like um, an apprentice type person like that does T-shirts and hats and stickers. And you're just going to have to look it up because I want to have stickers made too um, and design my own sticker. That would be so much fun. 
cousins. I was a daycare worker. Oh my God, Tammy, we have so much in common. <laughs> yeah, I did childcare for a very long time. I started at 16 working in a um, daycare because my mom knew the person and um, I did pre-K. Oh my God, I love stickers. <laughs> Yes, love stickers. Absolutely. I've always liked writing letters and doing stickers and and like sending people packages and letters and stuff. <laughs> always fun. Um, Tammy, I do have an email in my description box. You're more than welcome to email me. And I've connected with so many people on here. And I've absolutely been having a blast getting to know everybody. Yeah, BJ, you can have stickers made. I think Jamaican Fishing said that when he had his stickers made, um, it was $35 for 50 stickers is what he told me. But I know every area is different depending on where you live. So, of course, my sticker is going to have to have an owl in it. <laughs> of course. I still have an album. I wish I still had my album as a child. I would be worth something today. They don't make stickers like that. Oh my gosh, I know. I know. I wish I I wish I would have done the same thing. Um, having a sticker collection book. My cousin one of my cousins used to collect stickers and had a sticker book. And I don't know if she still has it or not. Yes, an owl on your sticker is perfect. Yes, it is because I love owls. It is my most favorite animal of all time. <laughs> like, love owls. We have, Tammy, we have a great, a great horned owl that comes and sits on my neighbor's tree. And um, sometimes he comes like at 8 o'clock um, at night or sometimes later. Um, and... I just love the way the owl sound and just everything about them. Oh, cool. Yes, you'll have to do that. Um, yes, you'll have to do a sticker video. Absolutely. Dogs are your favorite. Yeah, Tammy, I love all animals. Like, I have two dogs, a rabbit, chickens, and a rooster. <laughs> I used to have guinea pigs and fish, but... Um, I have a bunch of pictures that I did yesterday. One of them is real nice. I should post it. Yes, you should, BJ. Yes, you should. Yeah, I want to see what you guys are doing. Yeah, post everything. <laughs> post everything. <laughs> and Tammy, I know if you haven't seen my face, I mean, I have videos where I show my face. But I decided not to show my face anymore. I just want to do this. <laughs> so you'll see what I look like um, on my other live videos and my other channels. I have chickens, rooster, four dogs, two cats. Nice. So you're an animal lover and you like art and you worked in childcare. We have a lot in common, ma'am. We will be wonderful friends. <laughs> you have no pets. We did have a house mouse, but he left. <laughs> Like, the rats can stay off in a farm, but I did have mice and guinea pigs and goats. <laughs> it's time for some more pickled jelly beans. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That's so mean, BJ. <laughs> oh, you should have just let him go. <laughs> so, I've been snacking on these um, pickled jelly beans, guys. <laughs> we caught over 10 mice and set them free. At the river down from our house. Oh, cute. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, I know they can be a nuisance. Like, they do damage stuff, and you don't want mice in your house. <laughs> yes, BJ. These are so good. <laughs> I love pickle-flavored stuff, and I found these over at Five Below. <laughs> okay, Tammy. And they are so good. I thought they would be a little weird, too. <laughs> but they taste fantastic. <laughs> I've been burping up pickle flavor <laughs> sitting here coloring. <laughs> They are very good. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I am burn cut and tied. <laughs> I promise you I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. But I promise you, I am not. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I am not. <laughs> no. I just like to try new things. You know? Always fun trying new things. You never know if you're going to like it or not. Unless you try it, right? <laughs> no, I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm one of those weird ones that like to try everything. Are you saying, well, I mean, I know you have diabetes, but if you didn't, are you saying that you wouldn't try a pickle jelly bean because you'd be like, uh, just out of curiosity? <laughs> you'd be like, hmm, wonder what that is all about. These owls are coming out just way too cute. All right, all the owls are colored. Now we need some work on the grass down here. So this is what the page is looking like so far. Ah, there we go. Can y'all see that? I would try anything once. If I don't like it, I won't eat it again. Yes, yeah, see? And that's the thing. You try it once. And if you don't like it, you don't try it again. But I would buy these pickled jelly beans again. Those pickled jelly beans are fantastic. <laughs> Very good. I would buy those again. And I'm not big on jelly beans, you know. But I would buy these. And they must, they must be good. You know, people must like them because... Um, that was the only one left. So, oh my God, I love seafood. Seafood is so good. 
Absolutely. I like grilled fish, fried fish. Well, I try not to eat a lot of fried fish, but um, fish and shrimp with pasta and yeah, so good. Oh, as seafood. <laughs> you are quite the jokester. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know what you're talking about too. When you chew up your food and is, are you talking about when you like chew up your food and eat it and then, yeah, that's disgusting, BJ. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, I, I hated when kids used to do that in school and they would do that, you know, and it's like, oh my God. I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, you can get it for yourself just because she doesn't like it. You shouldn't go without. Oh my goodness. Don't go without BJ. Get your seafood. <laughs> you only live once. Eat your seafood. We are done with this page. Well, she can get chicken. <laughs> my husband and I, you know, here's the thing, BJ. Every family member or anybody, husband, wife, it doesn't matter. If you're living in the same household and you don't like the same thing, then nobody has to eat it. But nobody in my house goes without. If somebody doesn't like seafood and someone does, we're still getting seafood. <laughs> you know? That's just the way I see it. Nobody should be deprived of anything <laughs> at all. These pictures in here are so cute. I'm trying to figure out what I want to color next. Ooh, look at this one. This one's so pretty. Yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. All right. I think I'm going to color this one next. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Look at that little leopard with the flowers. We are going to color him next. It is cute, isn't it? I like cute. <laughs> and it is very, very cute. And so this is what we are going to color next. Absolutely. And we're going to make him, um, we'll make him a little multicolored. We'll give him different, different colors. We'll give him a little bit of pink. We'll give him a little bit of this green here and we'll give him some purple and some yellow <laughs> he will be different color for sure maybe this one will make him fun Him or her, whatever it is. We'll do a little bit of this. One more for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank you, BJ. <laughs> You're awesome. We'll do a little bit of this blue on the tail.
Let's see, a little bit on the feet. <laughs> yeah, it sure does, BJ, doesn't it? It sure does. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for that. You have five and two of them are yours. <laughs> well, very good. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Eating those pickled jelly beans makes me want a turkey sandwich. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> we will make his eyes blue. Because why not? This is a pretty blue color. We'll color down here a little bit. Mimi, it's okay. Welcome back. Mimi had a nap. <laughs> Mimi doesn't get enough sleep at night. <laughs> so Mimi naps during the day. <laughs> Napping is good. You need to sleep if you're tired. You listen to your body. Mimi is in pain. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry, Mimi. You get your foot feeling better and then you've got knee pain. What's up with that? You're supposed to be healing completely. <laughs> now in my right knee plus my foot. Oh my goodness, you poor thing. I'm sorry, Mimi. You poor thing. All you've been trying to do is stay active and try to get things done. You just cannot seem to get a break. I am definitely going to continue to pray for you. This leopard here is coming out adorable. It is so cute. Sometimes when I'm using these matte pencils in these books, I think it's going to come out super bright. But because this type of the paper that I'm coloring in it makes it look a little dull, but it's okay.
Oh, hold on. I missed something. Hi, it's me. I'm on my friend's channel. Welcome in, V. How are you? You have... I have you on three... <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> um, now I'm... V, just let me know who you, is this, um, let me know who you are. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being here. You're still here. <laughs> Thank you for still being here, Fur. Right now, I am now coloring a leopard. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Logan in the background. I appreciate all of you guys taking the time to be with me. BJ is getting me the every all of y'all are just helping me with my hours and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it very much. Run me on all your devices. <laughs> This color is not coming out. There we go. Not showing up too much.
This cute little leopard is colored. Now we're going to work on the flowers. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Deep pink. Perfect to bring out these flowers. Oh, hold on. And here too. I could put up the other two if I want, but nah. <laughs> well, thank you, V. <laughs> I usually put up all five here. I'll go in the people and say team stars, pure plus stars. But other than that, they are not touched. Gotcha, BJ. Yeah, some of them, some of them, you know, when you run them, you'll get very few and then others you'll get a lot. And, you know, there's always people watching in the background. And, um, you know, sometimes when I, I mean, lately when I've been getting off of here, It'll show you how many people are watching and how many hours you get. And um, I had 190 people watching yesterday on my morning live. So, but not all of them come in and comment. They just watch. <laughs> Sometimes it's therapeutic for people just to have silence and watch people craft and do art and color and stuff. So... I appreciate everyone who is coming on here and chatting with me. And I've heard some people say that they watch me for a while before they make a comment. You know, some people get the feel of who you are and what you're all about. And, and yeah, and some people are shy to chat so they don't come on here. They don't know what to say or... You know, and that's okay, too. Sometimes I don't even know what to say. Which is why I started doing this live. Because it's like, you know, if nobody wants to talk, then they don't have to. And <laughs> Oh, really, BJ? <laughs> um... But... That's why I started doing this live, because if nobody was on here or if nobody wanted to chat, then Noel, welcome back. I'm glad to see you back, my little freshman. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, you know, BJ, I can talk. 
um, and hold like try to hold a conversation. But sometimes my mind goes blank, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, what else is there to talk about? <laughs> After I finish this flower, it's time for a few more pickled jelly beans. <laughs> um, BJ Noel found me on the live yesterday and um she's 14 if i'm correct and she's okay to be here or he i don't know noel probably yeah a girl and so she um likes art and stuff like that so and it's nighttime where she's at right now. So it's probably midnight or so. Am I correct, Noel? Um, and she's okay to be here. She was really cool yesterday. Not causing any problems. So yeah, I know BJ and you know what? My content isn't either. Um, when I, when I go live, I usually, where they say, like, not for kids, but for some reason, they still find me, <laughs> but, um, but as long as they behave themselves, um, it's okay. I mean, really, I'm just coloring, so it's not, you know, a big deal. Um, pretty close to one. Yeah, that's what I thought, Noel. It's it's late where you're at. Um, this is coming out really cute, guys. Look at this leopard. And the colors of the flowers are really pretty. You must be tired staying up that late, Noel, and then getting up for school. Do you get sleepy before, you know, in the morning when you have to go to school? Going to bed that late? Yeah, BJ, I know. But, you know, coloring is... is for everybody, so. Yeah, but I'm a late night owl. I hear you. I hear you with that. Um, I used to be the same way at your age, Noel. Now I'm old and I need my sleep. <laughs> now I need my sleep. I love to sleep. I mean, I, well, I mean, I usually go to around 10, 10 30, but when I was younger, I had issues sleeping and I would be up till two, three in the morning and then would have to drag butt to go to school. <laughs> and then I would sleep in class because I was so tired from not getting enough sleep at night. You got, yeah, BJ, that seems to be your norm. Three hours of sleep. Yeah, I know. 
And we used to get up early for school because we would have to catch the bus. So we would have to get up like at 5.30 in the morning. And so I barely had any time to sleep at all. I wouldn't be able to function, BJ, if I only got three hours of sleep at night. Oh, my goodness. How do you even function on that little sleep? I would be grumpy. I would be tired. I mean, back then I wasn't, but I would be now at my age. Hello, Rook. How are you? All right. I am going to take another pickled jelly bean. <laughs> These are so addicting, guys. I am telling you. Oh, my God. These are so good. Rook, have you tried these jelly beans? Or Noel? Oh, my God. I just can't even. These are so good. Oh, you were a trucker and you had no choice. Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> oh, are they rare in Japan? Really? Okay, so you've had these, Rube. They are so addicting. Like, I keep coloring and then I'll put them down and then I'm like, okay, break time. <laughs> They're really good. It makes me want a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I don't have any turkey, though. <laughs> very, very good. It's the first time I've had them, Rook. I got them last night. And I saw one there, and I hadn't seen them before, and so it's my first time trying them, and now I'm addicted. Oh, the licorice jelly beans. Yeah, I don't like licorice. I know some people like licorice, but I don't. Not at all. Yeah, they, I think they're gross. <laughs> Um, I do like the red licorice, like, um, the Twizzlers, those are good. I get them every, I mean, I haven't had them in a long time though, but not many people like, because I think it's the, um, don't they use a niece for licorice? And not a lot of people like anise. It's a very powering flavor. My father-in-law loved licorice. The black licorice, he absolutely loved it. And so we would buy him the bags too. Um, for like his birthday or stuff, like we'd make him a goodie bag and we would put um, the licorice in there for him. Bean boozled jelly beans memories just came back. <laughs> Oh my God, that's funny. I remember playing that Bean Boozle game. They had some gross flavors. Oh, they have sugar-free licorice. Well, there you go. So you can have um, little treats, BJ, as long as it's sugar-free.
So, Rook, I am coloring in a Lisa Frank coloring book. And you know what I have in the freezer, too? Because, you know, when you go to Five Below, you can't just buy a few things. Um, they have Twix cookie dough. And I bought that, too, and that's in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, the flowers are pretty. Look it. I'm coloring Lisa Frank, and it's coming out really cute. This is a cute page. I'm back for a few. I had you playing on my TV while I was on the phone, so I missed some conversations. But the new picture you're coloring is turning out really pretty. Same as that one. Thank you very much, Tammy. Thank you. Oh no, girl, you should have seen me earlier. <laughs> Sometimes I stay in the line, sometimes I don't. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to get in these spaces when it's in the in the book. Oh my god, raw cookie dough is the best. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love cookie dough. <laughs> cookie dough ice cream. Cookie dough to snack on. Um, I will show you. Give me, stay right there. I'm going to bring out my Twix cookie dough. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's in the freezer. I put it in there last night. Mimi's going to get mad at me. <laughs> She's going to get so mad at me, but I cannot help it. I love sweets. <laughs> I just, and you know, it's almost Easter time. And so, but look at these. One second. Let me move this. Look at these Twix. Twix cookie dough. <laughs> like, and then they had Snickers cookie dough. And they had um, another type of cookie dough. <laughs> and, oh my God, like these I got from Five Below too. And they are so good. They're frozen. Oh yeah. I mean, who doesn't like cookie dough? When you make chocolate chip cookies, like I was the type of kid that, um, Oh, they're so good. If you guys have a five below, you need to go and get a bag of these. <laughs> they even have the Snicker ones, and I don't remember what the other one was. But I love sweets, guys. I really do. Like my snacks. <laughs> I even have a whatchamacallit in the freezer. Y'all remember the whatchamacallits? It's like chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. So good. I can only eat a few, though. Just a few, because if I ate that whole bag, oh, my God. No. Mm -mm. Usually, I keep everything in the freezer, and then if I'm having a craving, um, then I will grab something <laughs> from the freezer just a little bit, you know? Well, those are old time favorite. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just now seeing things. Like I I usually don't buy stuff like that, like but I love cookie dough. So so good.
Oh, nice, BJ. Long bread cookies for treats. Two, two, three. Very nice. See, so you can have your treats. <clears throat> there are some things that are actually really good that are sugar free, but um, I'm not. I'm not diabetic, so um, I got to have the sugar. <laughs> got to have the sweet stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'd rather have a plate of vegetables with some hummus dip or like avocado dip any day. Like my cucumbers, my tomatoes, my avocado, some lettuce, like a plate full of veggies. But, you know, once in a while... You get those those cravings for those sweets. Don't deprive yourself. Just eat in moderation, a little bit at a time. Thank you, Tammy. Yes. <laughs> it's showing 25 thumbs up on me. And we've got seven in here. And we probably have some more watching in the background. I appreciate. I'm loving all of you guys coming in here. Did Noelle go to sleep? Is my Noelle still here or did she? I know she has school tomorrow. So. Oh my God. Yes, Rook. Love vegetables. I could just put a vegetable platter on the table with some dips. Oh, my gosh. Good to go. Good to go. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, my gosh, BJ. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I'll see him later. I don't want to touch anything on here because um, I don't know what I'm doing, Tammy. <laughs> I don't want to touch nothing and then something happen. It, it'll probably show me once I'm once I'm done. I see 26. Now I see 26 and six people are in the chat. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't want to touch nothing. Because knowing me, uh-uh. I am not, like, computer savvy. And, and and the thing is, is I use my phone. So, um, I don't have a laptop or a computer or anything like that. So, I use my phone and I ain't touching nothing. <laughs> I might do something and it's like, oh, you know. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and stay on here. My five hours, I will take a break cause I want to make a couple of videos of my garden and then, um, depending on what happens later, I may or may not be back on later on. We will see, but I will post food videos and I will post a few garden videos and give y'all an update of the arrow garden and stuff like that, so. Because <clears throat> I need to add more dirt to my potatoes. I didn't get to do it yesterday, but I do need to do that today. My husband's been like, when are you going to do it? Yeah, I, I have a garden. Um, and so I need to do an update of that. I am growing some corn. I'm growing potatoes. I've got some tomato plants, some pepper plants, squash, um, carrots. What else? Um, green beans. 
Um, the sun has finally made its way out to this part of the world. Yay, BJ! <laughs> it's no longer dark. You've got the sun shining on you. Fantastic. I know you said it's been dark there for a while. <laughs> Are you not getting any sun, Tammy? What's the weather like where you're at? Very rainy and gloomy. Oh, no. Well, hopefully the sun will shine on you soon. It won't rain forever. Yeah, I know. You can't do that where you're at, can you? That would be very hard to do. But you can get yourself a little arrow garden and grow some herbs. <laughs> herbs are always fun to grow. Even if you have a small little space. Get you an indoor arrow garden. Hydroponic system. Oh my gosh, no, BJ. <laughs> Not, you know, like cilantro and dill. <laughs> Some lettuce, that kind of stuff. You're so funny, BJ. You are quite the jokester, my man. I know you're joking. Oh, don't worry. You don't think some of my family members... I, I don't do that, but... A lot of my family members do. So I know exactly what you're talking about, sir. I think for lunch, what I'm going to do is I have a piece of chicken I took out of the freezer yesterday. And I will cube that up and mix it with some rice and have some green beans on the side. I think that's what's going to be for today's meal. Pretty soon I won't be able to use this pencil. This pencil has been used quite a bit. My pencils are shrinking.
It is definitely starting to look like the jungle now. All this greenery. Got the leopard hanging out over here. We actually really don't need that because I'm using matte pencils. Get a little bit different greens all in here, different shades, greens, light greens, some yellow. I don't know if there's anything else to color in here. I think this is done, maybe. So it came out cute. I think I finished it. Not too bad. I don't know if I want to color another one in here or if I want to get a different coloring book. There are some cute pages in this Lisa Frank, though. But I think I'm going to get a different book. So, we'll just go back to coloring the Mandela's. Mandolins, Mandela's, however you say it. And this book is really thick, too. Look how thick this book is. Oh, my goodness. We will move these pencils out of the way. I know I'm constantly moving things out of the way, right? But it's like, you know, I don't have room for anything. I need a bigger space for sure. <clears throat> Bring these 
markers back. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, we need to move these over here. We do not want them falling. All right. <clears throat> I wish I had like a stealthy one. Hello. I'm sorry I did not see you come in. Hold on. Thank you, Stealthy. I'm so sorry I did not see you come in. Tammy, thank you for hanging out with me. I apologize. Stealthy, are you, if you're still here, do you have, um, content? Because if you do, I think I've seen you before. I can give you a wrench. I'm sorry, guys. And I do see the 27 thumbs up now, so thank you for that. I had to refresh and hit the chat thing. I was scared. I was like, I didn't know what to, oh, he's gone. Bob. Hello, Bob. How are you? Welcome in. What are you up to today, Bob? I feel so bad, Bob, because the other yesterday when you came in, we didn't even really get to chat much, did we? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize. Bob, tell me about what's going on with you. I do not want anybody to feel ignored by me. I just, I'm sorry. I got in the zone and I didn't see my chat moving and I had to hit the chat button again. So I'm, I apologize. I promise I'm not a mean person. Oh, nice. Having a coffee. Nothing wrong with that. I need to make me, matter of fact, I need to make me some coffee. I haven't had coffee in a while. And you just reminded me that I need to make a pot of coffee. My husband's been um, stingy with the coffee pot. We only have one coffee pot. I am checking your channel, Bob. So I definitely need to get a pot of coffee going. Here we go with these bright neon colors again. Yeah, isn't it? I think it's going to come out really cool. With these colors. I have, I'm telling you, Rook, I have all kinds of books and I, I like coloring everything. 
If it was up to me, I'd get like buckets of different colored bright paints and paint all the rocks too. <laughs> Everyone would have colorful rocks everywhere. <laughs> hey, Bud Files, welcome in. I know, right? Everybody in their area should just gather up rocks and paint them bright colors and put a coating on them and put them all around the trees and and back out into the parks and around your home. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You can write little positive messages on them. <laughs> Oh, would she, Bob? Paint the rocks? How fun! I mean, it's just such a good idea to brighten the place up, you know? Did she do art on the rocks? I know some people, I've seen, like, rock art, and they do really, like, good art on the rocks, too. They'll make them look like turtles or cats or dogs or birds. What are nettles? I don't know. What did I say? Did I say nettles? <laughs> They're stinky nettle, which you can use for um for tea. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Something with nettles. Oh, okay. Well, that was nice of your mom to do, Bob. Does she still do that? See, Rook, I'm not saying in the lines. Sometimes with the markers, they blend or like. I find myself going out of the lines with the markers. I love these colors. Happy colors. Oh, sorry about that, Bob. <clears throat> well, that was nice of your mom to be able to sell the rocks for charity. Sounds like your mom was very sweet.
never, you know what? I never learned how to knit, Bob. That was one of the things I did not know how to do. Sewing and knitting. But, I mean, some of these women that could sit, that could sew and all that stuff and knit. I mean, they did beautiful work with making, like, hats and socks and blankets. All right, Bob, you take care. Thank you. Very nice, Bob. I will have to check it out for sure. You post all that stuff on your channel? I keep blending into the yellow, getting out of the lines with this pink. Definitely will, BJ.
Nature's Beauty, hello. How are you? I hope you're well, nature's beauty. I hope life is treating you well. Got too much into the yellow.
Thank you, BJ. You have a fantastic day. I appreciate you for hanging out with me and making me laugh. Bye, BJ. And the Joker's gone. <laughs> He said, I am out.
I apologize if you hear my dog barking, but they have a mind of their own. We are almost done. 
on this page here. All right, so this page is done. It looks fantastic. I only used three markers on this one. Not because I was doing the three marker challenge, but just because it's the way it ended up. <laughs> but not too bad. I still have a few more minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick another page. And, cause I wanna make sure I'm staying on here. Um, for the whole five hours so we will just pick another page to color this one looks pretty cool looks like this I will not use the same three colors that I did in the other one. We will pick different colors. And we will see how it turns out. We'll give all the colors a chance here. <laughs> I just want to make sure that this is still working. All right. So, maybe yellow and this one. We'll see how it turns out. Let's see. You know, a lot of times I have so many markers and pencils and stuff and I don't even use them all. So we got to give them all a chance, right? I think we're going to use the little, I have a pointed tip here, so I think I'm going to use that for these little spaces right in here. These mandolin designs are always fun to color. Hope I'm saying that right.
Let me check this, just make sure it's still working. I see we have five in the chat. If you guys can please hit that thumbs up for me. We don't have to talk if you don't want to, but I would love to see who is in the chat, even if you just say hi. If not, then I will just be coloring and you can just watch me color. I am not a professional and I am getting out of the lines, <laughs> but I'm having fun. That's all that matters. And some of these do have glitter, so when you cover it with marker, it looks a little weird. <laughs>
Mimi. I'm going to be on here. Oops, I went out. I'm going to be on here a few more minutes and then I'm going to get something to eat and work in the backyard since I didn't get to do that yesterday. I know, I was eating those, I'm like, I want a turkey sandwich, but I don't have any turkey, but I do have some, what do I have? Canned chicken, but I don't want canned chicken. But I do have a piece of chicken that I'm going to cut up and... Um, Cook it with some rice and put some green beans on the side. Where does that marker think he's going? Oh, I really went out of the lines on that one. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me this morning. Everybody who came on here and said hello and all those that are watching in the background. Um, I am getting off of here. I will finish this in the morning. And I'm going to go work in the garden, grab a bite to eat and do all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, so... I had a blast. I always have a blast with you guys in the morning. It's so much fun getting able to relax and color with you and chatting with you. And so I'm going to leave it like I always do. Live, love, and laugh and be kind to one another. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Take care.